Welcome to Policy Council. Thank you for volunteering your time to help ensure the best services for each and every child of Head Start. We want you to enjoy and learn from your participation on this team of parents and community members. Getting to be a voice for my children for the Head Start program, I loved serving on Policy Council. You'll share in the decision making, also known as the governance of the program. Governance is shared between the Board of Directors, Policy Council, and staff. If any of this sounds intimidating, rest assured that the program director and an administrative staff member will always be in attendance at meetings to support the process and provide you with information. When you get voted in, everybody's like, mm, I don't want to do that. But then once you go and you start to get a feel for what you're actually doing, it becomes like second nature. You, you want to be a part of it. It helps give back to a program that's given to you. So it's scary in the beginning, but after like the first or second meeting, it's not so scary. Refreshments will be available at every meeting. English to Spanish and Spanish to English translation is available in real time. And of course, to kick things off, you'll be doing some team building exercises. As a member of the Policy Council, you will learn how Head Start operates and how it contributes to your child's education and growth. Together, you'll make important decisions that govern Head Start operations. We know what's coming to our classrooms before they get there. It gives you a chance to be on the other side of Head Start. Policy Council was super interesting. I learned a lot about what Head Start regulations were. Even though we're conducting business and we're doing things to enhance our kids' education, it's kind of like a mini vacation away from all the kids. So we kind of like it. You do make friends there because it's just like such a close-knit group. There's a couple of parents that um, like we just became close just from day one. The communication and leadership skills gained through your participation will be an advantage for you throughout your child's education. These skills may also prove beneficial in your workplace or other volunteer activities. It made me more aware of how to read more spreadsheets as far as like finances and budgets. We went over a lot of proposals. So we learned how proposals are made and um, what it takes to approve them and get them and what you can and cannot do in a fiscal year with, with stuff like that. I think we learned a lot of just how businesses run and what our Head Start programs have to go through just to exist. We would go off strictly off of the agenda, so I learned like how it is to be like part of a board. So I think it was a really important skill that I obtained through the Policy Council that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Your participation is bound to have a positive impact on the lives of the children and your own. We always felt we were appreciated for being there. Each Head Start program has a voluntary policy council that shares in decision making, also known as the governance of the program. This policy council is made up of parents of the program as well as community representatives. eCenter also has a professional staff and a governing body, usually a volunteer board of directors. The shared governance of the Head Start program can best be described as a three-legged table. The Board of Directors, the Policy Council, and the staff each represent a leg of the table, all supporting Head Start. Policy Council responsibilities include to be a place where parents can bring up suggestions or concerns, to discuss and approve or disapprove actions that staff propose, to help plan Head Start activities, to help Head Start to be inclusive, taking into consideration diversity of children and families. Members are voted to the Policy Council by their Parent Center Committees. The representatives must attend the Policy Council meetings and the Parent Center Committee meetings, as they are a vital part of the overall communication system. As a member of the Policy Council, you are the eyes, ears, and voice of the other parents in the program. After the meetings, it is your job to report back to the other parents who elected you about issues discussed and decisions made at the Policy Council meetings. I was part of the council for about a year and I think it's really important that the parents know that that's a resource that they have because a lot of the communication happens through the council to the parents, back to the staff, and so it's a cycle. 
The more that parents and staff work together, the more effective the Head Start program will be in helping your child. The reason the Head Start program is structured this way is because Head Start respects parents, knows parents care deeply about their children, and knows that you, the parent, are the most important educator in your child's life. <laughs> Come down. Research shows that the more a parent is involved in their child's education, the more successful their child will be as a lifelong learner. Policy council meetings are run by the parents themselves. Each council elects officers who serve for one year. A president who runs the meetings, a vice president who assists the president and fills in when the president is absent, the treasurer keeps track of financial matters, and a secretary writes the minutes which are a record of what is said and done at the meeting. Often, these officers learn how to perform their responsibilities while doing their job. If you need help, someone is always there to guide you. Uh, at first, I was a little nervous. I, I ended up being the secretary for the program. Some of the duties that were required is I had to take all the notes. We would go around introducing ourselves, so I always thought it was important to write down everybody's name. Say the vice president wasn't there or neither was the president, they would ask me to chair, which meant I was the president at that time and I would read off of the agenda. The program director and an administrative staff member will attend the meetings to provide information to the council, support members in making decisions, and in conducting the meetings. Members will receive a packet of information to review prior to the meeting to allow time to formulate questions and opinions. Many important decisions are made at the Policy Council level, and you will participate in a variety of discussions regarding the program. You'll learn how the Head Start program operates, the guidelines that must be followed, the impact that the decisions made will have on the children and families, as well as those that will enroll in the future. Policy Council is involved in the review and approval of program policies, grant writing, changes in operation, and other decisions that may come up during the year. At a typical Policy Council meeting, the Head Start Director will make a report, staff may ask for suggestions for program activities, representatives from different Head Start centers may give reports about their center's activities, and sometimes community representatives will make reports. We just discuss the issues at every school, if there were any issues, we discuss the staffing, and we discuss a lot of stuff that was really important to the program. I think it was really a neat way to hear all the other schools' accomplishments and concerns and how we can help. As a member of Policy Council, you will have an entire team to share in the decision making with you. The Policy Council may have to make decisions on Head Start policy changes, review procedures, approve employee hiring or termination, or review agency financial statements. If you need clarification on a topic, please speak up and ask questions. A staff member or a policy council member will be happy to give further explanation of the issue so that when it comes time to vote, you can make an informed decision. If we need new playgrounds, we all vote on how much money is going to be spent on the program, if, this, if it needs to be done. All suggestions are welcome, as the Head Start staff is always striving to improve the program for children and families. Policy Council members will learn how to follow Robert's Rules of Order during meetings to conduct business that requires a decision. This involves making motions, seconding a motion, having supportive discussions, ensuring each member has a chance to voice opinions, and voting in a democratic manner. I have flip ups all the time. I flirt all the time when it comes to like, okay, okay, was I supposed to get a motion for that or something? You just ask questions and no matter what position you hold, you always have help. This is not going to just leave you to do it by yourself. This democratic process allows for all viewpoints to be expressed and considered first. The vote then reflects majority rule. Detailed minutes are taken to keep records of the proceedings. Policy Council members work as a team, and their authority comes only when the members act together as one. The success of the program is based on the collaboration and teamwork of the staff, board of directors, and Policy Council. A term on the Policy Council usually lasts for one year. During this term, you will be expected to attend monthly meetings. Head Start tries to make attending meetings as easy as possible by meeting any needs you may have, such as childcare, transportation, foreign language, or disability. We have an interpreter, and so that we use devices where they wear a earpiece 
that's connected to the little voice box and she's talking into the earpiece. She can also repeat it in English. So we can all wear the headphones and then when a Spanish speaking parent is speaking, we can hear it word for word as they're saying it because then she'll be re repeating it. If we didn't have the translation devices, I think it would interrupt the meetings a lot more because we'd have to wait for her to translate and then move on from there. It's kind of harder to hear everybody, but um, if you can't make it and you still want to be a part, you can call in. We have video conferencing. Sometimes additional time is required. If so, policy council members may need to meet in committees to discuss issues at more length before taking the issue to the entire policy council for a vote. You will have fun on policy council because it's not always so serious. Like we have our certain people who make it fun. You know, you have your moments when people know how to lighten the moment because we've been going at it for so long. Sometimes issues brought up at the policy council meetings will need to be kept confidential. The issues may be controversial, personal, or in early stages of development. Sharing such confidential information outside of the policy council meetings is a serious matter and could cause legal problems for the agency. Lunch is provided, a portion of childcare is reimbursed, so if you have to pay for childcare or have somebody watch your kid, you won't be doing it as, as a total loss. They reimburse you for your gas coming back and forth, because like me, I come from Chico to Yuba City. Decisions made by the Policy Council will have a direct impact on the children, so stay mindful of how everything will affect your child and the other children in the Head Start program. Our goal is to provide the best Head Start program for all children and families. My kids absolutely love the Head Start program. I have a five-year-old that's in TK now, and he actually didn't like school in the beginning. He started since he was three years old. I think that program has really helped in his success. He's in a TK right now. and He knows a lot of his letter sounds, a lot of his ABCs that a lot of kindergartners don't even know. He loves school now because of the experiences and the routine. I'm really thankful for that program. Oh, he made a lot of friends and he is one really quick to learn everybody's name. So he would always say, oh, my friend Emilio or my friend George. Go. After your child has aged out of the Head Start program, your child, throughout his or her schooling, will benefit from your experience as a member of the Policy Council. Remember that the more involved you are with your child's education, the more successful he or she will be in school and life. I would really recommend the E-Center and the programs to other people. I think it's the greatest program that there is, and hopefully the funding will continues. I think it's really important that the parents get involved in their child's education early on, because it's, it's a stepping stone, really, that's what it is. Because of that program, I feel like they're successful and it's gonna help them in their education. And I think the parent involvement is the most important um, because that way your children know that you're involved. Join the Policy Council with an open mind and a willing heart. A lot of people look at it as just, oh, free babysitting, but that's absolutely not what it is. It's an education program that's really good for the students, it's good for the parents, and it's good for, for everybody. So I really recommend it. So at the end of every election year, they give you a certificate and a little thank you gift for participating. You can always see the happiness, I guess, or the gratitude on the parents' faces when they go up to get their awards. Nobody wants to be on camera, nobody wants pictures, but everybody wants their award. East Center takes a time out to appreciate their parents and thank them, but I almost feel like it should have been us thanking them because we were a part of their program. Thank you to the staff and everybody, all the teachers. Without them, the program wouldn't be able to run, exist. Thank you again for volunteering your time and effort as a member of Policy Council. We look forward to working together.